Hi, my name's Cindy Mall from C Mall Art, and uh, often I get asked in the classes that I'm teaching, uh, the most asked question is, how do you mix grays? So I've decided to put this little video together and show you how to mix my favorite gray, or two of my favorite grays. It's actually quite simple. So stick with me, and we'll meet you over there at the messy painting table. Okay, so my favorite gray, I mix using ultramarine blue and raw umber or burnt umber. Raw umber tends to be a little more of a cooler blue and the burnt umber tends to go a little warmer because the burnt umber has more warm tones in it. So I will squeeze out some ultramarine blue. We'll do one with the raw umber, and I'll do one with burnt umber as well. This one's almost empty. And this, by the way, is Chroma paint, and they're based on Granville Island in Vancouver, and it's a great company. They, they make all their paints themselves. And they're so good to talk to. You can call them and get all kinds of information from them. And uh, they ship out pretty quick, too. But between that and Liquitex and uh, Golden, they're my favorite paints. Okay, so what I'm going to do is scoop out some ultramarine blue. And we'll see what we've got here. I use a brown palette because I like the mid-tone value in the brown rather than a white palette. I find the white palette kind of throws my colors a little more so that I'm not quite sure what I have. But it might not be as easy to see on video, but then again, you can't really see it until you throw a bit of white in anyways. When you throw the white in, then you can have a good idea where you're at. So, as you can see, this is a little bit more of a blue gray, which is fine if that's what you want, but if you want it a little more neutral, then add a little bit more of the raw umber. That's still quite blue. You don't want it to all of a sudden go brown, unless you want a brown gray. That's up to you. Now it's looking a little bit more of a green gray now, but we'll, we'll see. So I'll paint it right here on here for you. That looks pretty neutral. Kind of hard to tell on the camera. Um, then you can add, you can uh, change the value a little by adding a little bit of white. And then adding that to your paint and then you can do this you see how it gets a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter oh, I'm hoping you can see this I guess we'll find out and a little lighter so you can do this you you can do this exercise your value scale add a little more white and a little lighter and all the way down Now, if you notice, I have my white here and my other colors here, and then I mix them in a separate pile. That's the best way to do it. That's where the palette knife comes in. So there, that's, that's a fairly neutral gray. Now, quick light. I'll do one with, with the ultramarine blue and burnt umber. And this will be a warmer gray. More ultramarine blue. So you don't really know where you're at until you add a little bit of light to that. That's still pretty blue. Look at that, some more brown. And that may be leaning towards, that's definitely leaning towards brown. So you kind of kind of have to, you have to find the happy medium here. Let's try this out. Okay, so we've got the ones with the raw umber. Now I'm going to put this in. This actually looks maybe even a little more neutral than the other 
which is because the complementary color to blue is orange across the other side of the color wheel and they neutralize each other out. So there's a little bit more uh, warm tone in here so that would neutralize the blue better than the raw umber would. But it's warmer. You can see the difference between the two. A little more. But it's definitely This one's definitely warmer. They With the raw umber, it kind of leans a little bit towards green. That's because it's not totally neutralizing the blue. But this one here is much better. It's far more neutralized. So you can go either way. It depends what you want it for. If you want more of a bluey, greeny gray, then go with the raw umber. And if you want quite a neutralized gray, go with the burnt umber. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you got something out of that. Uh, like I say, the, it's a pretty simple way of mixing gray and it is one of my favorites. So um, yeah, hopefully that helps you. And I will have some other short little videos, little snippets of, of different things that I'd like to share. And they will be, like I say, either on my website or on YouTube or Facebook. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll, I'll bounce around all over the place. I don't know. But uh, it's kind of fun. It, it's kind of fun. As long as you don't look at my whole studio, it's such a mess. But I can clean a little corner and do a video and uh, invite you in for a little bit. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. So, does everybody have a fainting, fainting painting shirt? <laughs>